As you guys know, I'm a fan of ghosts. And I've been wanting to show you guys my full ghost collection for a while. Now, if you guys haven't seen my short that I done over a year ago, showing off a few of my ghost figurines, but that wasn't really the full collection. Now, unfortunately, due to a few circumstances, I will have to say goodbye to a few of my figurines. Because, well, I actually am moving and I have to basically downsize my collection. Now, most of the figurines that I have in my collection, I am going to be giving to a few close friends and selling them. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is my plushie. So this is Karanokopia in his red robe. Now there actually are a, like a few knockoff versions, like there's Karanokopia in the red robe, but it's a lot smaller than the original. And then there's Karanokopia in the black robe and in the white tuxedo. Now. I know he looks very fucking weird, but I actually do like him. Like, he's really soft and plushy. He does look like a giant potato, but he's just adorable. And on the ghost website, I saw they have a new plushie that I would love to get to add to my collection. And it's Papa Mario's 4, but in a really strange, that weird bat hat that he has. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll get him. Maybe not. If not, I still love my card now. Next, I want to show you guys from my Super 7 collection. Now, the figurines that I have in my Super 7 collection, those are the figurines that I plan on selling. So, you know, let's just get started. So this is Papa and Rudus Nihio. Now, as you can see here from Papa Emeritus Nihio, he is in a very large package and he has some really cool shades. He has a saxophone. Now, if I remember correctly, when I had seen Ghosts, I think about a year ago or maybe nine months ago, when I seen him back in San Diego, they actually had re erected Papa Nihio from the dead. And he was just in the same attire, of course, like his robes and the shades and the saxophone. Which, this is what I believe this version of Papa Nee Hill represents, him being re resurrected from the dead. Which is a really cool figure. I mean, I really do like the shades on him. He looks pretty fucking badass. And I can just see him doing his saxophone solo from the song Messiah. Next, in a very large package, I have... Ghost Feratu. Now, Ghost Feratu is actually part of If You Have Ghost EP. And what's the cool thing about this figurine. Not only is the package a really nice crucifix that's in blue, but he actually does glow in the dark and that's pretty awesome. I mean, I put, I tested it out when he's inside this package and put him near my light bulb just to see if he'll glow and he does. The next one I'm going to show you from Super 7 is Papa Murder's 3 Ghost Dollar. Now the coolest thing about this figurine is that he actually closely represents the ghost dollar from, I believe, 2015 to 2016? Now I actually do have the dollar that represents this figurine. And Honestly, this is actually one of my favorite ones from the Super 7 collection because the packaging on this figurine is so 
identical to the dollar that how can you not want this in your collection like jesus it's so great like even from the back of this packaging it's just amazing like how much detail they put into the packaging unfortunately i wish that the super seven figurines had a lot of detail in their figures but i'm just glad this company actually does replicate all the papas as well as they can in these small little packages Oh, but also going back to the ghost dollars, when I saw ghost the second time, I actually got a ghost dollar. Now this is one of their newest dollars. Well, not one of their newest ones, but one of the dollars that they got from the re Imperia tour. Next, I want to show you guys from my Super 7 collection. Papa 2. And Papa 3. The next figurines I want to show you from Super 7 are the Ghouls. I actually want to show you guys my ghost comic book. Now, unfortunately, with this comic book, it's not in English. Like, I try searching for a copy that isn't English. The only languages that they have of DC Comics Batman's Death Metal series is, I believe, Italian, French, um, maybe Portuguese? But anyway, I honestly just got it because I thought it was a really cool thing to have in my collection, plus it's a really hard thing to find. And... I just really like the font. Like, I remember when I saw this image on a t-shirt back at Hot Topic. I thought about getting it for a second, but I'm like, you know what? Let me try to see if I can find the DC comic. Now, I thought that maybe the DC comic would have one in English and then I can read it. Unfortunately, when I had opened this and flipped through the pages and saw that this whole comic book had really nothing to do with Ghost at all. Like, Papa Murdis was just mainly the cover art, and it briefly talked about the band, but he was not in the comic itself. Like, the comic was just basic, basically about Batman and Joker, and, which is fine and all, because it is the DC Comics Batman series. But I would expect if you're going to have a popular mascot for a metal prog rock band that he will be part of the story but either or i mean the image is really cool i really like the detail that they put into the cover and it's pretty cool now this one i'm actually i'm gonna give to one of my friends because my friends actually do know a bit of other languages and they actually read comic books. Now, next I want to show you my cards. So I actually have a few cards from Garbage Pail Kids that actually shows their um, characters as Papa Murdis 2 and 3.
Now when I look at this card, this hat says Papa Ministry. But when I look at his robes, it says Papa 2. So I'm pretty confused on which Papa he's trying to represent here. But this one, I definitely know. It's Papa 3. Next, I want to show you guys my figurine from Loyal Subjects. Now, there actually is a second figurine that I haven't added to my collection, but I would have liked to, which is Papa 3. Now, as you guys already know, I already have the Carnel Cobia plushie. This figurine, well, I think it's pretty detailed. I mean, I think it's a pretty good figurine for its size. Next, I want to show you one of my favorites figurines out of all my collection, which is my Funko Pops. So first I'll start off with Opus. Now this figurine actually represents Ghost's first album, Opus Eponymous. Forgive me, I cannot pronounce the name of this album. But I really do love the detail of this figurine that is very closely resembles the artwork. Now I kind of wish that this figurine actually came with their vinyl album like that would be a really cool set but it's just a little small figurine and very enlarged picture in a box showing the album in another video guys i actually would open the box and try to show you as much elaborate detail as i can of each papa reddish figurine next i want to show you guys Papa Nia. Next, I have Papa One. Papa 2 Papa 3 Papa 4 And for one of the new Ghost Papa Murders figurines that just came out I believe a month ago is Papa Murders 4 in the military jacket now, I have been searching for a while to get this figurine, and I finally found it at a comic book store. Now, when I found this figure at the comic book store, I was really excited because I really, really wanted to have him in my collection. But as I opened the box, and I saw the details as compared to the other figurines it's not as detailed as i would have liked it to be i honestly feel that um sometimes when funko pops do release new figurines they do kind of rush into things just to put something out there and you know 
I've heard a lot of people complain and kind of not like these type of figurines. I don't know what it is, the height, or maybe just how they look, but I like these figurines. I mean, they come in their little packaging, which is really cute. I do need to get a protector box for him though, because I don't want the packaging to get damaged. Like for this one, like this one has a protector box and so do my other papas. But I just got them and you know, I want them to be in really good condition. Well, that is my whole collection, you guys. I hope you enjoy all the things I have collected. And you know the funny thing is, I never thought that I would be collecting toys again. Like, I remember growing up as a little girl, I used to have a pretty good collection of brat dolls and I had a couple Monster Eye dolls. But when I was a little girl in my early teens, like 14 years old, I was kind of going through that phase of where I felt like at 14, even though I'm still a child, um, I'm not able to like toys. Like I shouldn't like these things. I have to grow up really fast because from the age of seven all the way so I was a teenager, I did grow up fast, you know. I did have a childhood, like liking toys, liking cartoons, but I had aspects of my life where I was involved in things that a child should not be involved in. So the fact that I am allowing myself to have the things that I really do like, especially a band that I really do enjoy, you know, it's really great to have this collection in my hands. Now, do I plan on growing my collection as I start moving? I do plan on growing my collection, but I would like to have other figurines added to my music collection besides ghosts. Like, I know that Funko Pops have several My Chemical Romance figurines, and they have a Marilyn Manson. And I would like to add this to my ghost collection because music is part of my life. I really do love music. It was like I can live without watching movies, watching TV shows, but take away music. No, I'm sorry. I dealt with that from the age of 14 all the way to I was 23 years old, living with people who would not allow me to express myself and love the music that I love. 